Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Dawn of War 2 Elite Mod. Joining me once again is Lieutenant Eckel, going to be providing us with some uh, epic high tier analysis. Hopefully. Hashtag, hashtag needs level plays. Uh, hashtag born to be a, a winner. <laughs> Good luck and have fun, everybody. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely uh, feeling the inspiring radiation of confidence there so I, I think we're in for a good time here so today the game it's going to be crew finity as our war boss against his opponent paper bag as the warlock here on outer reaches really fun map uh not one as as commonly seen as something like like green tooth gorge or uh Caldera's refinery it's a bit more of an interesting map to watch things on as well i think i think it has one of the better power placements because some maps, the powers are just far too difficult to harass, where I feel like it's, it's in a situation where it's it's still pretty easy to defend, but if you do get pushed off, you actually will punish from that. So, I, I like the power placement, it's very open. Good old classic Dow 1 map. It's very it's very kind of blatantly natural power, but, but still not impossible to do anything about it if you're the other person. So, we do have and the... That's... The Warlock and the Banshee are going to be chasing down these shooters, but maybe a bit more than they can chew. The Sluggers are moving in, and the Banshees are actually already a bit low because of the shooters, so they couldn't stay there and trade. Nice timing there with the Stomp as well, so we'll lose quite a few of these Banshees. May even only have one Banshee left by the time they're done, or two models left, but uh, still pretty uh, bit of a bleed there. And now there's this Warlock as well, so just getting caught out of position. There wasn't the, the Dire Avengers nearby. Yeah, if he wanted to stay in that engagement, I think he probably would have been better off to just keep going where he was going, trying to take out those shooter boys. Because you've got a high chance for specials, for special attacks going against the shooter boys. Um, and really, once you get that special attack, it's a lot easier to retreat, because there's nothing chasing after you. So we do have the, the looters coming out for Crewfinity, as well as the, the, the Guardian weapon team coming out for Paper Bag. So we're both going to have the... The support weapons there with the suppression does help certainly against the the melee uh, commanders. Yeah, we have we've only got the uh, got the three units from Paper Bag though, which isn't world's best practice really, unless you're someone like the Warp Spider Exarch, who can get away with with fewer units just because of his natural mobility. We do have all the power farms up as well, so now we're going to see a bit of engagement here from Paper Bag. Banch is going straight in for the shooters, actually having to retreat the sluggers as well. Uh, very well played there, and the slugger boy is getting pretty low, but they should be fine, but still five models down. We have the, the immolator now being unlocked on the warlock, and there is the full farm here, so this could be some, some gen harassment coming out of Paper Bag. Yeah, the, the immolator isn't, I guess, contrary to what it appears, it's actually not that fantastic against getting rid of gens. So um, these looters getting getting fired. This is actually a, a bit of a um, a loss. If, if these looters have to retreat, it means that they can't use the looters to. Well, it means that Crefinity can't use the looters to defend his power. And in a situation where you get forced off like that, having that suppression team on your power uh, can certainly help you. But it looks like Paper Bag won't be committing to that one. Uh, going to cap off the map instead. I mean, he didn't have the VPs cap the north. He doesn't have all of the wreck points. So he's just going to be uh, playing it a bit safe. Yeah, he caused. A pretty good amount of bleed in that last couple of minutes as well, so trying to get rid of those requisition points just kind of compounds that bleed problem. Bottom node is unlocked here by Paper Bag. Still only has the three squads. So what do you think we'll see him go for his fourth? I'm not entirely sure, but if, if it's been this long without a fourth, then he's almost definitely just trying to rush tier two. As far well, as what, what he should go for, I'd probably say probably probably Warp Spiders. You say that every time. You, you just love Warp Spiders I say that too every much. time. It's, uh, I think it's always a pretty good choice, though. So we do have the custom Especially... shooting... The custom shooter for the Keep war boss. Up. There's actually a few things there, I didn't even realize that. We actually have the spiky armor as well as the angry bits. So it's a pretty good uh, customization there. Is able to, the spiky armor is going to be giving 
great damage against the Banshees, and with Angry Bits, he can charge up against the, the Guardian's weapon team. And for some reason, the, uh, the, the spiky armor makes the sound of a chainsaw whenever you hit it, which is... I always found pretty funny. Yeah, that is a bit weird. I didn't actually notice that. They don't really move. Oh well. Uh, other than that, so it is the tier 2 being unlocked now for Paper Bag, so as you say, rushing that one out pretty fast. But now there's two shooters on the power gen. There actually isn't the big shooter, but still going to be having very good DPS, able to take one down. Probably not a second one, but we'll see. We have the aspect of the Avenger unlocked for the Dire Avengers. They will have the grenades available. And the Banshee's trying to engage here, but with the spiky armor there and the sluggers, won't really have much opportunity to do so. We forced the sluggers away. So actually, you just use your choppers. You so you're definitely going to have to retreat those Banshees. Under oh, normal man. circumstances, um, the Banshees would win that, just thanks to their higher melee skill. They've got that that higher chance to proc special attacks. And when a slugger's just on his ass on the ground, there's not much you can do, really. I think that's one reason why the war boss is, is such a, a popular orc commander. That use your choppers is such a crucial ability, it's especially in a situation against the the banshees like that. Stealth looters actually get a, a nice minimum range barrage off on the or volley off on the Dire Avengers. For, we'll force them to retreat for now. So Griffinity has been trading uh, pretty well recently. That middle node should get taken out as well here by Paper Bag, but now he's actually going for the Falcon Grav. That's that's good. Uh... Crufinity isn't even close to tier 2 yet, so no no possibility to counter anything. I, I expect him to probably get some tank busters out, just given his amount of requisition when he does hit tier 2, because they're power free, so that'll probably be his natural choice. Slugger's going to be trying to kill this Warlock, but not really achieving much in the end, and still, the shooter's going to be doing a bit of harassment against the power gens. One of them has... Well, had 100 health. There's two gens down, so Paper Bag is, is suffering from his quick tier 2 rush, as you would expect when you verse a good player such as Crufinity, but now he does have that Falcon out, so we have to see if it's going to have the impact necessary. Charging in with the and angry, angry Bits. There's something you don't want to do at all, just run in. Angry Bits is useful, but you still get suppressed, and the closer you get to that Shuriken Cannon, you're just going to keep taking more damage. Yeah, we'll have to retreat the, the shooters now. Oh, we do see the... a flank from the Banshees. Yeah, the the, uh, the looters, got to be careful, though, because there is actually, there is the the Exarch on that squad with the the very, very large weapon. The Executioner is what it's called. So he could even lose this one here. Oh, uh, yeah, he loses that one, unfortunately. Yes, down. So... Paperback's now looking like he's in a really good spot. Uh, I don't know if we would have seen it, but the, the Demi upgrade could have been a uh, a choice against that. And now with the Banshees, the Immolator, and the Falcon, uh, and Tier 2 only now being unlocked for Crewfinity, we could see all these gens go down, or at least a big number of them. Still only the Immolator on the Warlock. Um, no channeling runes or anything like that to help heal those Banshees up. Looks like this Guardian team will get ambushed though. Going the short route to the power, maybe just a, a bit of a misclick in, in terms of the pathing. Didn't quite take the uh, the pathing route into consideration. It happens. Now the shooters, they do have the... One of them has the big shooter, so not all of them. And yeah, all the power goes down. Three gens and the node. And there's the Autark coming through. Gets Autark a money girl. shot on those shooters. Having to retreat now, so Crewfinity is really suffering. He's repurchasing the looters, probably going to be an immediate upgrade to the to the beamy. Hmm. With the Autark reveal, do you think it'd be a better choice to then go for the tank busters? Uh, definitely, definitely, uh, and especially the lack of snare on on the beamy looters makes it. It's got a lot of lot of damage, so it kind of compensates for that lack of snare with high damage. But but it's that much harder to kill anything, and now he's getting a war truck out. Hmm. Why do you think he went for the war truck? He could be 
just maybe hoping to get the baby looters in and, and, oh, and shift this, them around quicker. This Falcon drives right uh, in front of that beamy baseball. looter, facing his rear armor now as well. The second shot doesn't actually connect though, so that, that Falcon playing with fire almost gets taken out there. Uh, the war truck, yeah, it can be nice with the sluggers to just flank the, the Guardian's weapon team and, and try and wipe it on retreat. But, yeah, the, the Falcon is, is innately a good counter to that. He's going to have to get the, the armor upgrade, otherwise it'll die very quickly. Yeah, there's the, uh, there's the Banshees as well with the aspect of strength. Even even regardless of the aspect of strength, their power melee can do a decent amount to, to something as weak as a war truck. And furthermore, we don't actually see anything in the war truck yet, so he's not shipping around a slug of boys like that. Well, was taking a bit of punishment here. Going to be hacking apart that shuriken cannon. Now the banshees are showing up, though. The slug is in the war boss. Will we see the Yuzu choppers here? It's going to be pretty important. Gets a nice stomp off, though. And there's a the Yuzu choppers. The Orc yeah, is here choppers. as well, though. Uh, and I don't know if he's used the jump. He does use the jump now, so he gets the heal off on this Banshees, and this war boss gets another special attack, so that will buy him time to retreat. Very lucky there with that timing, but he still may lose it here as the Banshees are chasing it down. But the shooters pop here, and the Howling Banshees could even get taken out in the process. Yeah, they get wiped, so that's a, a massive blow for Paper Bag. He's not happy. Not happy, yeah. <laughs> But it, yeah, that, that second special attack uh, was, was was crucial there to getting that war boss out of trouble. So so now paperback he builds the, he rebuilds the howling banshees immediately, and, and the falcon be, because it got hit by that that looted shot the the beamy looter it mean that it couldn't really be nearby in, in the engagement. So now he's going to be pushing it out, but on his own. And once again that that stealth beamy looter is, is going to be a bit of a deterrent to him. It doesn't kill it in, in two shots, but actually driving forwards. Falcon needs to be more careful than that. The war boss on the rear armor, the war truck on the rear armor, maybe can take it out there if he's not careful. Just narrowly escapes. And there goes the the shuriken cannon, getting caught with the sluggers that now have the knob upgrade. Does give them a pretty big power spike, even the the Dar Avengers as well. So uh, I feel like paper bag. This engagement here was was just very uncoordinated. He's sending kind of units in uh, two at a time, and that's the Ard boys now. So great use of these these support powers by Crewfinity. Wallop goes down as well. Well, now the that, that is uh, Ard Boys, see... right? Yeah, yeah, Ard Boys. Um, yes. Yeah, so now we see that the the Crufinity is playing quite orky. He's just moving everything about in this big blob of orc death. The amazingly high DPS with the war truck support, so he can't really be forced off very easily. Uh, I'd like to see Paper Bag switch to more Eldar play. Maybe put some Wibway Gates down at his base up near the power. Just so that he can he can move around the map a little bit more easily. That a uh, beamy loot has actually been doing incredibly well because of the, it's really relying on on the the infiltration. I mean, the Falcon has is twice in a row now. It's it's tried to engage, but it just gets caught by the the, the cloaked uh, looters. So really preventing this Falcon from having that aggressive impact, which is is often what. Uh, makes it so strong. Maybe he should be a little bit more careful with it and just kind of rely on that long range damage and, and have the, the reinforcement there as well. So, it looked like Paper Bag was going to be in a really great spot with that quick Falcon, but uh, every time he tried to use it, looters were there to prevent him from really having an impact. Yeah, it looks like he's going to gonna try and pull a bit of an orc move now with his Banshees. Looks like they're tucked away in the Falcon, so... He could, he could be planning to just drive straight up to the Beamy Looter, drop off his Banshees, and, and let them do the work. Well, he delivers them now to the War Boss. He will use the, the knockback there with the Angry Bits. He still has the Stomp available as well now. Yeah, nice timing there with the tree. And now there's going to be the Looters moving up for it. But I don't know if that's really wise, because now they're going to have to retreat through the Autark, the Banshees, even the Dire Avengers as well, and the Falcon. So that definitely backfires. Nice nay just in case, but the looters get massacred. Flash sink kill to finish it off as well. Well, that's uh, a but great... But he's instantly replacing. Yeah, <laughs> that's his third looters now. So Paperbag needed that desperately. He, he was really running out of, out of options, but with the looters down, now he can play aggressively with the Falcon. We do see it picking up a lot of the squad's 
with the, the war truck and, and driving away. It still hasn't actually got the armor upgrade, so he does have to be a bit careful uh, with, with how close he gets to that Falcon. Jumping in, gets the heal off on the Banshee, so now gets he's going to be uh, getting the suppression. There is a Swampum, though, on the Sluggers and the, the Use Your Choppers, so these Banshees going in far too deep, but they do have the Falcon there. Can they get in? They do get in just before they get wiped, so very close. If they tried to retreat, that certainly would have been a dead sort of Banshee, so nice work coming out of Paper Bag, but even then, this Falcon's not out of trouble just yet. The Looters are setting up, though. The Beam Upgrade coming up any second now. The Falcon's not really sure what he wants to do here. He's actually trying to flank the looters. Meanwhile, though, the War Truck getting hacked apart by the Autark. And the Falcon's now parked basically outside the base of Crewfinity. Trying to juke the long way around. I, I think he'll be okay. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty ballsy. It made sense, though, because if he just went straight for the retreat back to his base, the, the, the beamy upgrade probably would have come out just in time and then wipe that Falcon. So the Warlock still only has the Immolator. It doesn't have the Champion's Robe or anything like that. And, and we had your dream come true. We have Warp Spiders. Finally, I'm in, I'm in heaven. Yeah, but it will be a Tier 3 for Crewfinity, so... Hmm... Warp Spot is a solid choice. Uh, can Haywire grenade the War Truck and let the Falcon or indeed the Banshees do the work? Yeah. And just that high, 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 high DPS as well. What do you think we'll see from Crewfinity in his tier 3? Probably, probably knobs. Um, there's not that much to go against them at this point. There's no s real snare or anything that the that the warlock can provide against them. Do you think he'll want to go looted tank against the falcon? I, I guess once he sees the warp spiders, there's even less reason for him to go looted tank. Yeah, knobs. I mean, if if, if you're ever in doubt about what any old player will get, just assume knobs. <laughs> Safe assumption. Yeah. He has the power for it as well. 95 power. Should have 100 by the time the tier 3 upgrades completes. So, yeah, and with the Immolator, not, not quite as, as strong as what the Wishblade would be against the knobs. Oh, we do see a little tank, you're alright. I like how the description for the tank is a shooty cart. Yeah, the <laughs> tank, it'll give him great damage against the Falcon. He just has to be very careful. Uh, but I guess that there's no there's no shuriken cannon left, so there's no bright lance uh, unless paperback actually rebuilds that. So at the moment, all there really is is the warp spider for, for anti vehicle, and, and the falcon is a very soft anti vehicle. Yeah, there's not really much you can follow up the the haywire grenade with. Paperback does have a fair bit of power though, so he may want to go for his tier three, but I don't. I'm not confident in him being able to hold his power gens if he does go for it. So, I, I think it'd be better for him to just try and build a squad of of the the Brightlands cannon now. So we have the Warp Spider's going to be throwing the nade onto the War Truck. Still no health upgrade, and with the Falcon there as well, this one can go the down here. Uh, pop out. Of oh the, yeah, the, the Banshees pop out, out. Yeah. and the War Truck is there. So this this loot is definitely going to get tied up in melee. He will retreat all his squads, but at least he evacuated so he wouldn't lose them inside of the, uh, the, the, the war truck there. So that's a nice little pickup there for, for Paper Bag, but getting the war truck, not a big deal. It is very cheap, and he's going to be able to replace that with the looted tank. Somewhere along the line, the, uh, the warlock went down. Didn't see where that happened. Yeah, I, I missed that one as well. The looted tank going to be forcing away these banshees. And Paper Bag must be in panic mode now. He's going to have to play a little bit more conservatively when, when that looter tank's around. As he can in, inflict a lot of manpower, uh, requisition bleed against these warp spiders we see, already dropping two models down. That's Fire Dragons from Paper Bag. A good choice. Uh, fairly cheap and, and good damage against everything, so if he does get mobs out. Then the melted damage from the fire dragons can deal well with those. Yeah, I guess the, against the war boss as well too would have pretty good damage. Fire dragons 
Yeah, they're a, they're a very powerful squad. As, as a Space Marine player, I, I, I get bad thoughts when I think of, of Fire Dragons. So, pretty... Uh, a bit of a blob here of, of his Orcs, Sluggers, Looters, two Shooters. It's a, it's a really solid composition. Once Griffinini gets knobs, it's, it's really everything he needs to round out his pop cap and, and get a, a good mixture of units. Maybe we'll see him him change out his war gear loadout though after he gets knobs, since he does. He's level four, he has the tier three, so he has a fair bit of options available. He can get out the knobs relatively quickly, but, but knobs are really only fantastic when you've got all their upgrades, at which point they become ludicrously wow. expensive. The Warp Spider jumps into the looted tank. I guess he has the reinforcement from the Falcon, but risky play. He didn't actually get the Haywire Grenade off, though, but here come the Fire Dragons popping out. But there's the rocks! The rocks! But loses the Falcon as well, and even the, the Banshees are actually still within range of this. The looted tank almost getting caught by his own rocks. Fire Dragons getting destroyed. That was a very, very nice response coming out of Paper Bag. Just when it looks like he was about to lose the, the looted tank to the fire dragons, he pops that, he wipes the banshees. And uh, paperback getting running really low on squads here. It's 34 pop cap against 64, and that's before the the knobs are even built. Oh, and that's the that's the GG. Oh uh, look at that paperback guys. So what happened there is uh apparently paperbag he actually teleported in with the, the warp spiders and didn't have the energy to do the haywire grenade. Yeah, you really want to make sure that you can actually do what you intend to do without making a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, same with Assault Marines. You, you, you jump in and you don't have enough energy for Melter Bombs. It's it's the worst feeling in the world when it happens. But but yeah, that'll wrap this game up. That was um, actually a, a very exciting cast. It was pretty back and forwards. Um, didn't quite go as predicted, but it was yeah, it was pretty interesting. Do you have any uh, any last words? Uh, I, f I feel like uh, Paperback didn't do too well by trying to fight Crewfinity on, on his own terms. The, the best thing that you can do as an Eldar player is really try and force your opponent to do something that they don't want to do, try and put them between a rock and a hard place. So it would have been nice to see uh, some more Wimpway Gate usage, probably trying to flit about the map, with the map a little bit more than just trying to rush head on in and try and, try and fight fire with fire. I think this is a really good map for Webway Gates. It's such a big, wide open map where you can have some really good spots uh, near, near the VP, near the power, near the south. Um, so you can use those pretty effectively, but yeah, that, that would have been nice to see. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the cast, and uh, thank you to Lieutenant Eckel for, for joining me. Um, I think we've we learned, we learned a little bit here, and we'll see you later.